trying to coax the best out of his brother Frank here, Andy. Uh, but what has happened is the pace has slowed again. They might let Andreas Cloden back into this. He was the other rider in those three chases. He might well get himself back into this group, and that'll be another card for Astana to play. This is Christophe Lemervel, the rider on his shoulder. One second behind him in the overall. They're riding up the mountain together. There is the face of Lance Armstrong. That doesn't look like a tired Armstrong to me at all. It certainly doesn't. He looks uh, pretty much in control of all of these attacks. I think there are only two riders in this group, Phil, that Lance Armstrong cannot go with. One is Andy Schleck and one's his own teammate, Alberto Contador. But I think the two leaders in first and second place overall are doing their best to try and get their own teammates onto the podium. Well, Andy Schleck has dropped to the back of this group and he looks a bit twitchy to me. There he is in that white jersey. And uh, I think he's gone back there to have a word with Bro Frank, who's now on the front here. So wait for for some acceleration from the back. Frank is going to have another go, and Armstrong dances. So Armstrong, no trouble to answer the acceleration. He might have caught Andy off guard there a little bit, but the, as we see, the continuing riders drop away from the action. That was Perez from the original breakaway. There can't be many left ahead now. Frank Schleck, tempo riding, Armstrong marking Frank Schleck as he all he has to do to hold his third place overall. In case you've forgotten, these are the leaders on the road of the Tour de France today, and they're down to two. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Phil, of the top seven riders in the overall classification, only one man is missing, and that's Andreas Cloden. And uh, they're still throwing everything at each other. Armstrong there with a the bottle passes it to a spectator at the side of the road. That's a very valuable souvenir. As you can see, this is Cloden slowly clawing his way possibly back into this race. So Cloden there now, he's recovering from that rapid acceleration. He might well be, if he's allowed to ride his own tempo, he could well join these because this has become a tactical battle to decide the Tour de France. Contador's got the money in the bank. He's not worried. He'll win the Tour if he goes up. But uh, at the moment, Contador, Schleck, Armstrong, Wiggins, and uh, both Schlecks are in this pack. The only man they've caught out is Cloden, and he's only just behind. If this pace drops again, he's going to come back. But The Tour Down Under in Adelaide, the first event on the world cycling calendar. Get up close and personal with some of the biggest names in pro cycling and join the week-long celebration. Experience the excitement and atmosphere of Australia's biggest event on two wheels. Yes, the Tour Down Under, feel the rush by day, party at night from the 17th to the 24th of January 2010. And for more information, visit tourdownunder.com.au. Who powers the spirit? Power Bar, the tour's official energy bar and gel. The summit. It's as simple as that right now. He's riding with the group, but is he under pressure? There he is, number 58. Or is he waiting for his moment to try and steal a quarter of a minute and get third place in Paris? Well, Roman Krutziger, Phil, has recovered there. He was left behind a few moments ago, but now Team Liquigas have got two riders in this group, Krutziger and uh, Vincenzo Nibali. And, in fact, as we speak, it looks as if Andreas Cloden is about to make contact once more with the group of riders who are in the top seven places overall in this tour. Never say never in the Tour de France, but I'm afraid he'll go off again now because the white jersey of Andy Schleck grits his teeth. This is a heavy attack. Contador, though, no pressure. Looks over his shoulder where's brother Frank and now he's racing for second place here because he can't shed himself of Contador and he really would like Frank to go with him to try and get Frank up into that third place overall what he's trying to do is act as a launch pad for his own brother Frank Schleck that's why he keeps jumping off the front of this group waiting for Frank to respond but look at Mr Armstrong number 22 there he's seen all of these tactics played out many many times before as he gets himself behind the wheel there of Bradley Wiggins he wants to keep an eye on Frank Schleck to see if Frank Schleck has got it in his legs to attack across to this group of two. The man in the yellow jersey, he's not going to help Andy Schleck at all because he is trying to defend the position of his own teammate Lance Armstrong and keep Armstrong in third place as this race
goes forward to Paris. Frank Schleck has got to beat Lance Armstrong by 39 seconds if he is going to climb over him and onto third place in the platform. And now it's Vandenbroek, he's having a little dig. They won't chase him, he's not really a danger. So they're looking at each other here. Wiggins is waiting for a move. Nibali is a little bit adrift to the field, so they can even give the man in the uh, turquoise jersey the chance. But this field has become a battle for third place. Well, Roman Kreuziger has taken off from the group as well, Phil, because uh, he could see how, that everybody was starting to watch each other. He knows exactly what's going on here. Jose Ivan Gutierrez is doing an excellent job there. He was in that early morning breakaway. He's been picked up by these guys, and he's now setting the tempo. Well, Armstrong has to concentrate on Frank Schleck and Bradley Wiggins. He's, Armstrong has dropped to the back to keep an eye on both of them. Uh, undisputably, these two are one and two in the Tour de France, and I can't see that changing at all. Who will finish third? We're talking of seconds across the spread, and now there's a move again, and I think that's Nibali who's gone. Well, it was uh, Nibali trying to get across to his teammate, Roman Kruziger. Again, Armstrong isn't concerned about any of those riders. He's concerned about the man in the white jersey directly in front of him. Frank Schleck from Luxembourg starts the day in sixth place overall. But I don't think he's got the legs, Phil, that he had a couple of days ago on the slopes of the Alps. He just doesn't look that good, does he? Now, Nibali is looking for the best part of two minutes over the Armstrong group to claim third place. So he won't be reacted uh, quite as fast as perhaps the others. This is still Cloden here, and uh, again, didn't quite get on, he was so unlucky, Andy Schleck attacked just when he was about to hitch up. Contador is doing nothing here except following Wheel, setting himself up for a possible win. The packs are splitting up, Contador and Schleck have gone ahead now, all the other boys are all together. Well, well, again, uh, another acceleration coming from number 31, uh, the rider sitting on the back there uh, must be wondering what is he situation like this Maxime Bouet he was in that early group of 16 riders picked up by the heads of state of the Tour de France this afternoon look at the way Contador looks so fluid when he gets out of the saddle he can respond to anything that Andy Schleck can throw at him this afternoon yes there can't be many left up up the front of that original 16 man group now we seem to have caught quite a lot of them we know we still have the two leaders up the front which is Gerarte and Martin and Christophe Riblon who got dropped by the two leaders is still up there as well as we are with them now, this is Garati here, started all the action at the bottom of the climb. Tony Martin looking a little bit fatigued here, but he's only a young man, and he's looking at a great future in the Tour de France and in professional cycling. Further down, it looks for the moment at least, Bouet is going to hang on to these two, the yellow and white jersey of the Tour, Kreuzinger and uh, Vincenzi Nibali are together. Well, they were for a while, anyway. <laughs> oh. This is why you have to be very careful, Phil, on the slopes of a climb like this. Uh, this is Nibali slipping backwards here because of the acceleration. And again, uh, another recovery there. And this is a phenomenal move coming by uh, Vincenzo Nibali because he's riding himself across to the yellow jersey group. Well, he's, he really put his head down. He went up, he caught Kreuzinger, he's dropped him, and he's gone straight up now. This is an interesting uh, scenario because if Nibali gets around a minute 50 over Lance Armstrong, he'll be in third place in the Tour de France. So they've got to react to this one now. Well, I think they do. He started the day uh, 7 minutes and 15 seconds behind Alberto Contador in the standings and uh, quite a way behind uh, Andy Schleck too. He's the second place rider in the best young rider classification, but here he could be moving himself into the top five. Well, that's his move. He gets a minute 50. He'll move himself to third overall in the race. I don't know whether there's time left. There's still eight kilometres to climb to the top of uh, Mont Bontou. We'll change direction at Chalet Reynaud, about two or three kilometres before we get there. Now, look, Wiggins has made a little bit of a move here. As Lance got the energy to actually come through, Frank Schleck, that's it looks like it might be a good move here by Bradley Wiggins. Well, Wiggins has put the pressure on this group now. He knows he has to get rid of Lance Armstrong if he's going to leapfrog the, the Texan and get himself onto the podium it was a good acceleration but immediately was covered by the 23 there Andreas Cloden and Armstrong pulling himself back into the group to stay in contact well Wiggins looks pretty composed if you can ride to the front you're feeling good there's no doubt about that he took a look over at Kreuzinger who's dropping away here we've gone back up to the leader Juan Manuel Garate 
Rabobank could do with some results in this Tour de France and this man would be a good winner at the summit. It's a minute 46 to the group Maillot Jaune and then we're looking at two minutes and six seconds to Lance Armstrong's group. Well, this is a very strange situation that uh, Andy Schleckville is finding himself in. Uh, he's finding himself in a position where he keeps looking over his shoulder to say, where is Frank? Where's my brother? How can I help him to get into third place overall? He knows his own second place overall at the start of the day is fairly solid. But what he really wants to do, he would really like to try and leapfrog his brother, number 36 there, Frank, into third place. But he, I don't think he's got it in his legs.